Hi everyone, today we are going to draw some of our favorite desserts that we would have after dinner um, just for fun. Now the challenge of this one is going to be drawing the things that you like that are on this page. So you need to follow along and then decide uh, which ones you want to include and then you need to pick your colors. So I got a slice of pie down here. Is it apple pie, which be, would be sort of a yellowish brown? Is it a pumpkin pie, which would be sort of an orangish brown? Um, or maybe it's a blueberry pie, which would be sort of a blue and a purple. So you want to mix your colors up together. And I'm just going to draw these in crayon so that you can see them. We're going to draw some hard wrapped candies. And we've got some ice cream. If you don't like ice cream, instead of drawing the um, sort of round shape on top you could just make it a curved line for pudding all right and then we have some hot cocoa maybe you would rather have uh, something else like um, uh, tea or um, some other kind of beverage maybe you like milk and uh, instead of drawing a glass we'll just put it in a mug today so you want to decide what things you would have and then of course we have our cookie I have a chocolate chip cookie but maybe you're going to draw something that doesn't have chips in it this could be uh, also an oatmeal raisin cookie so I would want to remember what colors I need what color would a uh, raisin be what color would the rest of the cookie be so the challenge is going to be to color it in with the things that you like so I'm going to draw this page and if you say, well, I really don't want a cupcake up here. We're going to draw a cupcake in a wrapper. Well, then don't draw the cupcake. Maybe you want to just hold on and draw two cookies. All right, so that's going to be your decision to make. And that's our challenge today is to figure out which things you want to have. And then you're going to need to color them. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And um, what I want to do is I want to do this mug and get this out of the way. The mug and the ice cream are probably the toughest. So let's go ahead and get those done. And what I want to do is kind of be on the middle of my paper. So I want to draw two straight lines that are parallel. That means that they are going in the same direction, but they're not going to touch. So I'm going to decide how tall my cup is going to be and try to do it about the same on the other side. And um, instead of drawing a straight line across, you might want to try doing just a little bit of a curve. We're practicing for the top part. So now I've got them connected. Oh, add that a little bit there. And then I want to do that same kind of curve on the top. And if you're not great at curves yet, don't worry about it. Because what we're going to do is, this kind of looks like a marshmallow if you're good at your curves. But if you just did straight lines, that's fine. We're going to draw an oval on the inside of here so that we can see our liquid. So we're going to draw that oval. Let's look at this one. So we want to have it kind of pretty close to the top part, but we want to make it open so that we can see what's inside. So we want to, want to have a pretty good distance. And that same shape is going to be repeated on the candy. So we want to do just a nice flat oval. And I want to get pretty close to the top of my mug line there and then just come around and open it up and then finish it. Now we look at this one. This is just a couple of C's. So I'm going to do my small C first on the inside of my long line. So I did a nice little C there. So for the rest of the handle, um, this would look like it's something really skinny. We want to make it thick enough that we can get our fingers in like the rest of the mug would be so that uh, or the cup so that it would look maybe like it's um, not skinny and metal. Maybe it's made out of um, ceramic. So we're going to go ahead and just go around and make that same C shape on the outside. All right. So then when you're done drawing, you got to decide um, what do you want to have inside of here. All right. And then we want to do the other hard part, which is the ice cream. Now, if you don't want ice cream and you say Ugh, ice cream, but you like pudding, we can just do a curved line on the top. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and do the bowl. This is um, just a big smile. Let's go ahead and do that big smile. And I want to get pretty close to my cup. I don't want to try to get to the edge of my paper. I want to get pretty close to my cup. And I'm going to make it nice and big, and I'm going to go and make that big smiley face. And I take my time when I draw that because um, I tend to make these very wonky. I'll mess these up a lot, and that's okay. Now, instead of drawing the outside like we did on the cup, 
we're going to put something inside of it first and then do some lines that show the back of the bowl. So I'm going to draw that bottom part of this oval here. I want to draw that on the inside here. So really closely, here, let's look at this one. I want to draw this line. Okay, so I want to draw that part that goes from one side to the other without touching my smiley. And I'm just going to put it pretty close and I'm going to do a little bit of a curve down and then back up without touching the other side. Now if I'm going to do ice cream like this one, this one is just a big upside down circle there and then it's in the front. These two would be behind it. So we call that an overlap. So I'm going to pretend I drew that part and just did a smaller one and I'm going to come around here and do that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'll pretend to draw the same thing, but I'll stop. All right. And then if I'm going to do this as pudding, let's make it like it's um, in there really, really high and that you've got this bowl really stuffed. So we'll just do the top part. We're going to go across here and across here and across here. So that can be ice cream too. I'm just going to go and do a nice big round shape. And then I see this part's going to go over. So I'm going to go across here. And then I want to make my third oval shape, sort of a circular shape. And I'm going to let that touch right here on this side of this line. Right. So that could be almost anything. Say you don't like sweets and you want this to be a bowl of mashed potatoes. You're all set. And then what I want to do is instead of drawing this behind it, I've got this ice cream or pudding or mashed potatoes blocking it. So I'm going to start to draw it like I would over here, but I'm just going to stop when I hit it. And then I'm going to try to pretend that I finished it off and I'm coming around and I'm going to do the other side. So here and I'm pretend going around and through and then I'll come and finish here.